handle a 44 Images from a third world war But if you will not pretend, oh no We cannot begin, oh no And they won't tell you, I won't tell you Darkness fell like a cannonball They put the curfew breakers against the wall And if you can't convince yourself, no, no We cannot begin, no, no They won't tell you, I won't tell you What's going on? How's everybody doing today? So here I am at Woodland Cemetery in Dayton, Ohio. Now, I'm here doing someone else's grave today, but I'm going to take you to three graves in this cemetery. This is a very historic cemetery. There are so many people, famous and infamous, buried here. And so many inventors. The guy who invented the... So you start your car with a key? Here. Mead spiral notebooks? Here, who else? Uh, a lot of inventors. Somebody else that invented something big. Oh, air conditioning, modern air conditioning. Here, and the two brothers who took us there. These two guys, Wilbur and Orville Wright. The Wright brothers. Now, that clued me in that I was in the right section now usually when i'm at a cemetery i'm a little uh more you know low key but this is uh i'm gonna take you to three graves one of which is historical one of which is sad one of which is well it's sad that the man's passed away but it's, it's an interesting i found it an amusing story so yeah i'm uh not uh so this can be a little bit of a fun trip to a cemetery i would say somewhat yeah, if that's possible, yes, it is. Nothing to be, uh, I visit a lot of cemeteries, as you, if you've been watching my channel, and I have the utmost respect for the people buried here, and I think it's just an interesting thing to come and take a look at, various, at the various people that are buried here and to think about their lives and, the, and to learn the history. So let's look for the Wright brothers together. They're somewhere around here, said in this section. Well, I'm in this section, and I don't see them. Should I look up? Now, it's been... Uh, they first flew uh, the their Wright Brothers plane, Kitty Hawk, four miles north of Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Oh, it's a groundhog. And, uh, yeah, there's discrepancy about whether or not they were the first with the airplane, and blah, 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 blah. For this, we're just going to stick to the story that we all know the Wright Brothers invented modern flight and got... A plane, a self-flying machine, or so it's not self-flying. You know what I mean. They, they, the Wright brothers. Come on. All right, let's take a look and find the Wright brothers. I know I'm in the. Look at that groundhog. Oh, he's gone. Well, that come back. Oh, he's gone into his little hole. Should I go talk to him? Let's make contact with the groundhog. Oh, he's gone. As I'm looking for the Wright Brothers, I want to show you. I don't know who this person, this family is, but oh, Charles and Del Bunkhauser. Best name ever. Marty. I don't want to get too close and disturb him and have him come out and gnaw at my ankles. But he's down there. And there's the Wright Brothers. Right over here with the flags. Why do I never think to look for the biggest displays or the flags? Wow, this is impressive. Take a look at this. This is all the way at the back of the cemetery up on a hill. You come in, you can ask and they'll let you know. It's a little difficult to find, but you can find it. Here's Wilbur Wright. Catherine Wright Haskell. 
And there's Orville, right? You see people put planes there. Pennies. Yeah. A shell. Take a look at this. It's the whole Wright uh, family. Milton Wright. Um, this is uh, Susan Wright. Mm-hmm. All right, now we're gonna go see someone else's grave who is a Canadian and he's buried here. And like all Canadians, he was a bit of a rascal, bit of a bad man, bit of a bad boy. Well, I'm gonna tell you what he did. I don't know. It's kind of, a, he's either very determined or very stupid. Are those traits of Canadians? Don't say it, because I am Canadian. Proudly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, I don't know where this place, uh, this grave is, but I will find it. <sighs> okay, let's go. Come on, come on, keep up, keep up. Hmm. So I'm looking for the grave of Maurice Desjardins, a Canadian buried here, who is known as the man who robbed a bank three times. Well, nothing weird about that, right? Robbing a bank three times. Robbing the same bank three times is a little odd. So this guy was very set in his ways. I have no clue where he, I was told it's somewhere down here. He's very well known. They're very helpful. So they've given me a lot of, they told me so many different names and stuff. And I knew about this gentleman before, but uh, now to find it is actually a little more difficult than I thought. Oh boy. Maurice Desjardins. He came, he was up in Canada. Then he came down here after his, apparently his wife kicked him out, got sick of him because he was gambling all the time. Came down here, got a job and worked in a bank. I'm not sure what he did at the bank, but this is way before they had computers doing security and all that sort of thing. So he robbed his own bank, got away with it, robbed it a second time because he got started gambling again and got a girlfriend and wanted to impress her with money. Got away with it for a second time. Then the third time he got shot as somebody was waiting for him at the bank, I guess. But the police shot him, something like that. And then he went and tried to get away and he told the lady uh, in a house that he was an FBI agent and he needed to stay there for a little bit. She was suspicious because he was bleeding from the leg. So she called the police, came and got him. Maurice Desjardins went to prison. Look, another groundhog down there. It's very interesting as I'm looking, it's just this one mausoleum by itself facing the street back here in the very, very back. Talbot, Talbot. Hello. That is, he is moving, trust me. I do not want to get attacked by a groundhog again. Oh, he's gone. But, no. Well, I didn't want to talk to you either, so I win. I win, dude. found the second coolest name here. Rest in peace to that couple there. That's a great name. Up the Grove. So after much searching, I did find it. One of the groundskeepers here helped me. And now I've just been told a completely different story about Maurice Desjardins. We're gonna have to research this together when uh, I get some time. You and I, 
But Maurice Desjardins, apparently, he didn't work at the bank. This is what the gentleman told me. It said it was his mother had an account at the bank. So he knows the full story about Maurice Desjardins. Didn't work at the bank, went three times and robbed the same bank. And he died in 1968. And apparently he died. The cop shot him. So it wasn't just the, it didn't get shot in the leg. Apparently he was shot and killed. Hmm. But let's see what it says. It reads, Maurice Desjardins, 723, 1929 to 713, 1968. In the summer of 1968, Maurice robbed the same Centerville, Ohio bank three times. This limerick is for poor Maurice, who two times avoided the police. When he tried it again, his, grease, his greed did him in. Now he lies in his grave. Rest in peace. Maurice R. Desjardins. Now, I'm not one to condone robbing a bank. Uh, well, no, I'm not. No, but, hmm. no, don't rob a bank. But you gotta admire the tenacity of someone who robs the same bank three times. There's something to be said about that. You know, you got a system, you stick with it, right? If it's working, it seemed to work twice, why not do it a third time? Well, the third time, did him in. All right, Maurice, rest in peace. Let's go see one last grave. This one's a little bit of a sad story, but it's supposed to be an interesting looking grave. So I want you to see it along with me. Let's take one last look at Maurice before I go. Now, if you're looking for his grave, which this historical cemetery is huge. It's at the very back, the very last row along the fence, section uh, 202. Difficult to find. But I, that's really interesting. That's really cool to read that. All right, let's go. So this is Johnny Morehouse's grave. And this is um, a sculpture above it. It's called Summer Sweet. Johnny Morehouse was a little boy, lived here in Dayton, and he's playing in, he lived along near one of the canals here, and he fell into one of the canals, and sadly he drowned, and his dog went and got him out of the water. Now sadly, little Johnny had already drowned, but his dog pulled him from the water and took him to the uh, shore. So this, Legend has it that three days after his burial, Johnny's father couldn't find the dog and found him here, overlooking the grave, where he would come every day and stay morning, noon, and night. This grave is the most popular attraction after the Wright brothers here uh, at this cemetery. And there's a lot of famous people here. But this one is visited from people all over the world. The lady at the front was telling me all about it, and I was just blown away. This is... Johnny, this is what was found in Johnny's pockets when he drowned his top, a ball, a harp, and he was wearing his cap, and that's Johnny there. I'm a huge dog lover, a huge animal lover, like big time, especially dogs. So this is particularly touching to see for me, and it makes me miss my doggy back home. Nothing like a dog. There's no better faithful companion than a dog. It really is. It really is true. They're so loyal and so sweet. All right. I was going to show you. You know what? I'm going to show you one more grave that's here of a very famous uh, person in contemporary times that I should be able to find pretty easily. So let's go there and then I'm going to say goodbye. So here I am on in a different part of the cemetery. This cemetery is, have I said it? Yes, it's huge. And where is this lady? You'll probably recognize her name. Some people may not. But I'd say she was pretty uh, massively famous. Well-known writer, humorist, Irma Bombeck. But where is Irma Bombeck? She's around here somewhere in this area, I'm sure. I broke the first rule of motherhood, mm -hmm. and that is never 
Never have more children than you have car windows. Really? <laughs> no. I was in completely the wrong area, almost. Well, I was down there. And now I'm looking for a giant boulder. I think I see a giant boulder. Now this giant boulder was the original marker for Irma Bombeck's grave. And then they built some more around it. They put a little bench, planter. But yeah, this is the original marker for Irma Bombeck. Isn't that incredible? Irma Louise and William Lawrence. Apparently after her husband passed away, that's when they decided to put this bench in and the more permanent marker. Bombeck, right there. This is right at the front entrance. Just come right up, look for this big boulder and you can't miss it. Hmm. Irma Bombeck, February 21st, 1927 to April 22nd, 1996. William Lawrence, March 19th, 1927 to January 12th, 2018. Now, as I was walking, I saw this interesting bench here whose gift of power flight lifted our world forever skyward. This is for the Wright brothers? Dedicated to the memorial spirit of Daytonians, Orville and Wilbur Wright, yeah. Oh, that's a nice little bookend to the beginning of the video. That's right by Irma Bombeck, right there. So that's it from Woodland Cemetery. Hope you enjoyed this uh, little tour I took you on. I'm off to a different city now, in a different state. So I got a bit of driving ahead of me, but that's part of what I do, right? You were with me the whole time though, and you're gonna be with me in that car, driving to the next place. You're always right with me, you. All right, have a great day, and see you on the next video. I've never said that before, see you on the next video. Hmm. Oh well, I will see you in the next video. Peace. Ow. Given another year, I would seize every minute of it. I would look at it and really see it. I'd try it on and live it and exhaust it. Never give that minute back until there was nothing left of it.